the sound woke me up. At first, I didn't even know what it was. It sounded like an animal got trapped. Never heard a man cry before. I come downstairs in my underwear and I see my old man in the kitchen. First thing I remember is the ashtray. Must have been a hundred cigarettes in there. Ash like a little mountain. He stopped crying. And he was just sitting there watching TV in a little black and white. No sound. I don't think he knew what else to do. He looked up and seen me standing in the doorway, in my underoos. And he said, your mother left. She's not coming back. Just like that. Smoking cigarettes and eating a TV dinner at six in the morning. We lost our dog the year before and uh, I wanna make these posters in case uh, my mother was lost. Somebody could call us like the guy who found our dog. To this day, my father would tell you that he helped me make those posters, but he didn't. He sat in the kitchen drinking a case of beer. I was out by myself on School Street asking people if they'd see my mother. Her name was Doris. My grandmother had this little place, it's a restaurant down in Tangerine, Florida. So I used to imagine maybe that's where she went. But you know, I, um, I came to terms with the fact that it doesn't really matter. Wherever she went, she had a good reason to leave here. She didn't want to be my mother anymore. She wasn't coming. showing you my